guys so I'm here again with another portion of uh, the Jezebel spirit um, we talked about Jezebel and some of the operations but also the scripture from Revelations 2 and 20 and so um, I just want you to know that I am here at Renewed Mind Wellness my name is Kim Warner and we are located in Las Vegas Nevada the address is 4170 South um, Decatur Boulevard and um, our phone number if you need any kind of family counseling, marriage counseling, or um, substance abuse counseling is 702-331-4484. So um, I am going to go to um, 1 Kings 19 and um, going back to a email uh, that someone asked about the Jezebel spirit and it was relating to relationships. So in First uh, Kings 19, let's just talk about that. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah the prophet had done and with all how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me and more also if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. So Jezebel um, had in her mind that she could take the prophets out, you know. And um, I did explain, um, and it's biblical, that Elijah became afraid. I'm also, um, I also stated that um, fear is not of God. So um, a woman or a man that stands in um, the presence of God or they pray must combat with the fear that um, a spirit such as Jezebel brings. Well, when you look at um, Ahab and Jezebel, you see a couple that's operating against um, the man of God, the house, and it could be operating against a woman of God. So let's just kind of like look at the relationship that they have. Ahab is submitted to his wife, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's what is right in what she is saying to him and their conversation because their conversation is actually coming up against good. So whenever you have, you know, that spirit of Jezebel in a man, you're going to notice that there's um, characteristics such as deception. There will be manipulation, control, insubordination, and um, like, a lack of repentance. They have no desire to repent or um, to ask for forgiveness. They can't see their wrong in anything. And pride is evident. Um, we also talked about the spirit of witchcraft and uh, Jezebel's spirit. And so the, the, the spirit of witchcraft is not just when you um, burn candles against people and you do all of that kind of dark magic stuff. It is also when you speak against people, when you think against them. You know, you work hard to convince others against them. Lying, you know, the manipulation part. So when you look at a man, he has these same traits, right? But um, a man will act passively, almost like, you know, a woman. He'll become like a victim when situations turn to him and whatever he is doing. So in this relationship between Ahab and Jezebel, they actually fit because they have the same type of personality. The unfortunate thing is, is that the relationship inevitably will collide and come to destruction because of the characteristics of deception, manipulation, control, insubordination, and a lack of repentance and pride. It's going to come to an end because there is nothing solid to hold them together. Everything about Ahab and Jezebel um, points to their own destruction, even in their, um, their um, living in destruction um, and causing destruction to others, what they don't realize is that they're doing it to themselves. So, you know, in the last two weeks, I, or three, yeah, two weeks, I have talked about um, affairs, relationships that um, have broke up families and that kind of thing. And so when we focus on this here, what we can see is, is that the characteristics that we're looking at that will come after a man or a woman in the marriage will be deception. 
then there will be manipulation. It will be control and it can be in your wife or in, you know, your husband. It can be in um, your girlfriend or your boyfriend. It does not have a preference of sex. It's just whoever is open to being used. So the controlling part, when you identify with it, and even for yourself, you know, people that go to church, as I said earlier, um, or um, yeah, earlier in a recording, um, they have negated to look at themselves and um, how they operate against others. They have looked at the fact that they go to church and so um, that means that they're worshiping God. Well, that's far from true because if you don't identify that you're doing something wrong, that you're deceiving people, you're in a relationship that is not you know, um, ordained by God or that you're married to another man or another woman and you're seeing someone else, there's deception and you go to church, right? But you do not identify with it because you feel like you can do whatever you want to as if God does not see this. And so this is the problem that we have even in the church. You can't do anything you want to. Eventually, these situations are going to come and someone and some people are going to experience pain from these spirits, deception, manipulation, control, um, the lack of repentance or even desiring to repent. Um, a person that is in this space where Jezebel's spirit is using them, if you feel like a victim, then you victimize yourself. Because whenever you come up against someone, Elijah is here. He is a major prophet. There's a woman of God, there's a prophet, there's people that are actually praying to God. When you come up against them, God said, vengeance is mine, thus says the Lord. I encourage people to stay in the word. Why? Because the word will take care of you. You cannot take care of it. So if you have a wife or a husband that's going through maybe a spouse or, you know, a spouse that's going out or even in a relationship that you're building and they're seeing somebody else, don't take the matters into your hands. Talk to God about it. Use the scriptures because at the end of Kings, um, when when um, Elijah is um, coming back into the forefront, what we have is um, um, Jezebel being eat by, eaten by the dog. So every word that she has spoken, the Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah. She sent a message, but at the end of the day, her message didn't carry because her message ended with her being eaten by the dogs. So there is no way that a spirit that is up against God and his people is going to survive. That's in marriage, in partnerships, in business, no matter what you do. If there's any questions that you have, you can leave them in the comment. This is on YouTube. It's on Facebook. Um, what you need to really understand or get out of this is, is that if there's a Jezebel spirit, you need deliverance. And the person that is experiencing it, maybe from a spouse, needs to pray intently. God needs to be your center and your focus. There's nothing else because it is, you know, it's a spirit that's not easy to deal with, but with your faith and your faith could be being taken to the next level. You can break it. Um, it has to be broken over you and, you know, the spouse because spirits transfer. And so um, we just plead the blood of Jesus over everyone and ask that um, we all come into agreement in prayer. And I thank you guys for um, the questions that you uh, send and your um, desire to learn more. So we'll talk a little bit more um, later about Jezebel. All right. Have a great day. Bye bye.